everybody, it's Dan Sfera, www.theclinicaltrialsguru.com. I'm here with my good friend Dave Dartes, and uh, today we're going to talk about clinical trials, and we're hanging outside of this beautiful donut shop out here in Anaheim, California, right next to my clinic. But uh, today we're going to talk about minority participation in clinical trials, because it's a huge issue. Actually, of all people, Magic Johnson was encouraging more minorities to participate in clinical trials. All right. And he thanks clinical trials for actually saving his life. So he says what we need is more minority participation so that we can get better data for the minorities out there when they start taking the medication. What do you think about that, Dave? I think that's a good idea. And uh, I think it's a lot of people need to participate in it. Which I've been also hearing, you know, a, a, a lot of commercials about the clinical trials and I've heard one uh, person uh, that uh, responded to that was saying how the clinical trial better his life. You know? right. And uh, he said that he was, you know, going through a lot of, you know, trial tribulation and depression. And uh, he participated in one of the trials, and the trial had really, you know, uh, changed his whole, you know, uh, depression uh, state. You know? Right, right. He been feeling a whole lot better, you know. And uh, he wasn't feeling down all day and every day. And uh, he said that he also heard from other people that, you know, uh, the clinical trial, you know, they're not good for you, you know, they, you know, medication would harm you, you know. But it all depends on you and what particular, you know, medication you on. Uh -huh. Now, for those of you who don't know, Dave, he's a clinical trial recruiter. We featured him on the site a bunch of times and he's always got great insights but um as far as like what have you noticed as far as recruiting people like blacks or hispanics or even asians <coughs> into clinical trials because those that group right there are statistically the ones who don't participate in clinical trials that often what have you found out okay what i found out you know dealing with blacks okay it's it's kind of hard because you have a lot of blacks that just want to participate in the study only for the money, okay? Now, you have some that would participate, you know what I'm saying, for the study, and they would, you know, benefit from it, you know? Now, I've dealt with a few Hispanics, you know, and, you know, it's kind of hard, it's kind of difficult dealing with them because the majority of them I ran into don't speak English. Uh, yeah. But a few of them that I did run into, you know, they was already in the uh, uh, study at that, at that particular time. And uh, I ran into an uh, Asian guy, which, you know, he never heard anything basically about the study of clinical trials. So I explained to him, you know, the scenarios of the uh, clinical trials, you know, and the procedure that you have to meet in the criteria. Now, he's telling me that he's thinking about, you know, participating in one. But like I told him, it ain't just a a study that you can just participate in, you have to have a medical condition or a diagnosis, which he shocked me because he said he was diagnosed as schizophrenic paranoia, you know, and uh, he said that he was really interested in it, and uh, he told me next week that he was going to get back with me just to let me know. And like I said, you know, back to dealing with different, you know, races, you know, it's like, you know, you run into a lot of people that understands and you got a lot of people that don't understand because all they understand is this here is oh I heard they pay so much money you know and it's all about the money but everybody is different you know I mean everybody ain't just about the money like me for instance myself I done participated in this study before you know and uh, you know I, I had no complaints I mean uh, I participated in a uh, South Coast clinical trial, which is Dan's trial, uh, and, you know, the respect, you know, the, the way they treat you, they're very, very nice, very respectful, and the study, I mean, it bettered me, you know, it bettered me because I was having issues, you know, not saying that the medication, you know, that I was taking, you know, uh, was helping my condition. But by me participating in the study and then they realized where I needed something different and they was giving me and uh, you know today uh, I can say this I give Southwest Coast you know the must up the must up respect and you know they really better me as a person not only as a person as my medical condition you know because I'm currently you know on site meds you know and uh, you know uh, I just 
personally, I will direct everybody or anybody to that particular study, you know. I once was, you know, involved with uh, CNS, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm not trying to compare them, but I can say this here, Southwest, South Coast Clinical Trial treats you better than CNS because CNS, you know, they don't tell you the procedure, they don't tell you the medication and the effects behind the medication. All they tell you is this here, well, okay, well, you know, if you want to participate in the clinical trial, we're going to pay you so much money, mm -hmm. and we have a driver, and we feed you, and we give you cigarettes. Well, now, yeah. about the recruitment, uh -huh. right? Like, when you go out and, and recruit for different companies, like in the past, or even right now, are you noticing, or, or are you finding that minorities are more distrusting of clinical trials? Are they more skeptical well, than white people would be, or are you noticing no difference? Well, I've noticed those differences, you know, in blacks because of the fact, you know, because they hear so much different things about them, you know. And people tell them this year because you have people that can participate in the studies and then somehow, some reason, you know what I'm saying, they probably got kicked out of the study based on, you know, maybe they probably gave a dirty, you know, test or something like that. So then when they tell them, well, then you have to wait a certain period of time. So, you know, I guess they feel, you know, well, okay, well, I think, oh, they should have let me right back in, but it don't work like that. So by them going through that scenario, then they tell other people, then that makes the other people feel, you know, uncomfortable. So the distrust comes from word of mouth. Exactly. From Gossip someone's people. bad experience. Right, And exactly. then it spreads further in those particular uh, minority communities. Right? Exactly. Very interesting. I never really thought of it that way, but I mean, this is why we have this website because <coughs> uh -huh. we're bringing people's experiences. And you know, uh, Dave's the guru today, so that's why he's uh, he's talking about clinical trial participation or the lack thereof for minorities. And this was inspired by Magic Johnson talking about more minorities need to participate in clinical trials because I think statistically, it's, most of the clinical trial participants around this country are white. Are uh, white, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I just wanted to get your thoughts on that since you're into recruiting. But um, what can we do as an industry to improve minority participation in clinical trials? Well, me personally, what I think is, is like right now y'all doing a very good job, okay? I mean, and the, the doctors, the, you know, people that you have there, you know, the respect. And you know, put out a lot of old flyers, you know, and... You have a lot of more people that's recruiting and to, you know, put y'all, you know, out there, you know, and it all comes to the people in the environment where you're at, where you're recruiting at, too. Because you have some areas that you go to, where particularly, like, for me, for instance, I go to some areas, they never even heard of a clinical trial. Right. They heard of a trial, but then it's something totally different, you know. And uh, as of now, as, you know, I, I was kind of shocked because I heard a lot of people talking about South Coast Clinical Trial. Really? You know, downtown. Really? And a lot of the flyers that I had, I passed them out like all over. Downtown, wow. the county jail, bail bondsmen, all that. My man. You know? And uh, as a matter of fact, as I'm speaking about that, uh, I need to ask Dan uh, for some more flyers so I can pass out. And, and for those of you curious, we have a particular study where it's involving people just released from jail. It's, they're testing this new medication on people with a certain medical illness that are just released from jail. But you know, that's a, you know, that's this one particular study that we have. But uh, it's very good to hear what other people are saying about minority participation in clinical trials. And I think this blog is hopefully helping a little bit of that. And we're going to get more minorities to come on and share their experiences. And hopefully, we can make even a small impact. So, Dave. Thank you very much, man. My pleasure, and, uh, Dan. Uh, this you. is Dan and Dave signing off from the Clinical Trials Guru.